This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, last November, just when the shares in his company, Aegean Marine Petroleum, were bottoming, we didn't know that then, president of the company, Nick Tavlarios, he was telling us that he was bullish. Since then, the shares in the marine refueling company have been on the steady rise. Let's find out if he is just as bullish now. Nick, good, well, good to have you with us. Thanks for coming in. Nice so you, are you as excited and bullish about the market right now as you were when you were last time here on, in November when the stock really was down? Yeah, we, we've had some tremendous successes since then, uh, Pim. We've been able to go to 14 locations around the world. Uh, we continue to take delivery of our new bill program, and we've been deploying these ships. And we've had good success. We've managed the counterparty risk quite well, no toxic debts at all. And uh, we have a very strong balance sheet, and we're positioned to deal with any upturns in the economy. All right. Now, talk about something called the spread, because that's mm -hmm. something that's very important in your business. Give us a little bit of insight to those that are not in the business. What is the spread, and why is it important? Our gross spread is, is really your gross profit margin. It's a term we came up with. And really, it's the difference between what you pay for the product and what you actually sell it for. And it's affected by uh, a geographic mix, competitive markets versus not competitive markets, and a product mix, the types of products, some with higher margins than others. And um, it, what you are able to do in modeling out the success of our company is come up with a gross spread and multiply times the volume you sell, and you can almost figure out most of the top line revenue. All right. So when you talk about the spread, it's mainly what on bunkering fuel right now, or oh, I, mean, I know you've got a lot of other products, but is bunkering fuel the bulk? The bulk of it, yes. And what kind of spreads are you earning? Uh, Twenty-eight dollars a ton has been basically the number we've done in 2009. It was a little bit higher in 2008. It was around thirty dollars a ton. Uh, and I think that's really, again, a function of maybe us moving toward a flight to quality and getting better credit-worthy customers in a, in a difficult time. All right. Talk about some of those customers, because I know that you've got uh, good business in Gibraltar, good business in Singapore, as well as in the United Arab Emirates. What's going on there? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of marine traffic. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, there are parts of the world that are affected adver adversely, but those areas of the world that you named are still very, very busy. We've had good success, and we're, again, we're seeing some of the bigger uh, customers out there, uh, whether they be in the dry bulk business or in the tanker business and some container traffic. The container traffic, I would say, has been the most adversely affected. Yeah. Really? And uh, when you look at uh, operations, I know you've got, what, a new program that's just that's come online in Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. Right? And then you go, you're starting up another one in, in Morocco? Correct. In Tangiers. Just started. Just today we announced it. It yeah. announced it. It happened yeah. today. Yeah. So uh, who are going to be the customers for things like that? I mean, is it really going to be the, the dry bulk, or is it the tanker market that's going to take most of that supply? I'd say Tangiers is, is kind of a portal to northern Africa there, and you'll see a good amount of container traffic car carriers. Uh, the Trinidad market that you spoke about earlier will be heavily into the gas business, LNG ships, and some transient tankers. What about volumes in the future? Do you expect an uptick in volumes? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Where's I mean, that going to come from? We're, we're, it's going to come from some of our existing markets, plus some that we haven't announced. Uh, so, yeah, we definitely see that number growing. Don't want to make any news here and actually announce those new markets for us? As much as I'd like to. I don't think I can do that today. All right. Tell yeah. me about expense controls, because you've also been working on trying to keep that down. Yeah, I think we've really done well. The only Our expenses have been growing linearly yeah, each time we've added a ship and nothing beyond that. So we've really controlled SG&A quite well. And... Uh, I, I, our expenses have really fallen in line with every, what everyone might have expected. What about the availability of, uh, of ships? Are you finding that because of the turmoil in the shipping business that you're able to pick up the kinds of ships you want for less money than you would have in the past? Yeah, we've been quite opportunistic. And again, that's the importance of having a very strong balance sheet. We've bought a few ships in, in recent months and uh, deployed them into our fleet, and they filled certain strategic gaps that we had. So again, the balance sheet has been very, very important for us. And, both buying fuel, taking advantage of weaknesses of our competitors, and, and picking up more business. All right. Talk a little bit about I mean, your customer base, because everyone wants to know where is the best strength right now. I mean, are you seeing good strength in the dry bulk sector? Everyone wants to see whether those stocks are going to move. There's no question about it. Since I last saw you in November, the dry bulk business has gotten much better than it was. I mean, back then, the BDI was somewhere around 800, and today it's roughly 2,400. Uh, and the rates, of course, reflect that. Uh, so, yeah, we've seen good business in the dry bulk side of, of the equation. Uh, many of the better 
capitalized tanker companies have been good customers of ours, and some of our old reliable customers in the container business still continue to do good business with us. What about in the tanker business? I heard that tanker rates are really terrible right now. Is that, do you think that's going to continue for a little bit? Yeah, I, I do, actually. It's, in the near term, I would expect them to be soft, but at the same time, I've been around the sea for a long time, and uh, it has a, it's very resilient, has a way of correcting itself. And it can uh, do so very quickly, right? Quite quickly, yeah. Uh, it, within a week, we've seen VLCC rates go from 200,000 a day to 20,000 and right back up. Very it, large it can crude have, carriers, yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. That's very all right. No, it's good. We like the lingo. Thank you very much. I want to tell you, it's really good to have you with us and really giving us some insight into what's going on. You, because you're really supplying the ships that are moving on the high seas. Thank you very much. Thank Nick you. Tavlarios, the president of Aegean Marine Petroleum Network.